the blood still works. <clears throat> Thank God the blood still works. It will never lose its power. The blood still works. I know it works. I know it works. I know it works. Good morning, full of family, Deborah and JD. Yes, it is prayer on Wednesday. Hallelujah. Good morning, Charlize Hicks. Good morning, Sister Dolores Howard. Amen. The blood still works. Good morning, Judy Northfleet. Good morning, Lonzo Bell. God bless you, man. Good morning, Ronald and Tony Liddell. Hallelujah. Yes, it does work. Absolutely. The blood still works. Good morning, Van Tinsley. Andy Sessions, good morning. Mr. Connie Willis, good morning. Billy Perkins, good morning. Mr. Charmaine. Joseph Delaware, good morning. Buddy Man London Black, good morning to you. I know that the blood still works. Kim Dean Close, good morning. Marion Bolden, good morning. The blood still works. Angela T. Stanford, good morning. Yes, ma'am, we're gonna be praying for the Bolden and the Shields family, absolutely. Jennifer Newsom, good morning, God bless you. Good morning, everybody. We give God praise, amen, for another day uh, that the Lord has made, amen, and um, we are grateful, amen, for another day, amen. It is Wednesday, uh, September uh, 11th, amen. Uh, this is 9-11. Uh, Y'all remember that day, amen, 9-11, when uh, those planes hit the Twin Towers uh, in New York City. Amen. Y'all remember when uh, another plane ran into the Pentagon? Amen. Another plane, amen, uh, crashed in Pennsylvania in a field because, uh, thank God, the passengers, um, you know, tried to stop them. Lord have mercy. Good morning, Sister Juanita Singleton. Amen. Um, it was a horrible day. Good morning, Sister Osborne Turner. God bless you. Um, I was I was at Fort Houston, Virginia, outside of Newport News, when that happened. And you know, in our waiting room, because I worked in the clinic. Um, hey, good morning, uh, Patricia uh, Harrington. Uh, pastor Patricia Harrington, congratulations to you on becoming pastor. God bless you. Amen. Uh, but I remember that day I was at Fort Houston and in our waiting room because I worked in a health clinic. Um, 
I saw a plane hit one of the towers. And, um, you know, I said, oh my God, that must have been a mistake. And then not too long after that, you know, another plane hit the tower. And then we knew, oh no, that was a mistake. Amen. And it is unbelievable that humanity would be so wicked that they would devise a plan. And I'm sure it took them years to devise this. It took them years to train people. It took them years to put all of this together. Amen. Lord have mercy. That was a horrible day. That was a horrible day. That was a horrible week. Amen. And I believe each one of us felt personally that you were attacked. God knows it was one of the darkest days in American history. It really was. But, you know, one thing I do know, some, a lot of times when tragedy strikes, it brings people together. And, you know, our, our Congress uh, at that time wasn't as polarizing as the Congress that we have now. You know, um, but everybody stopped what they were doing, right? And everybody talked about praying, coming together. Amen. Amen. And uh, and uh, what a horrible day. Amen. I knew that I lived on Fort Monroe when that happened. And uh, they sent everybody home. They shut everything down, sent everybody home. I, I left from Fort Houston outside of Newport News to go to Hampton where Fort Monroe is. And listen, it almost took me nine hours just to get to my house from Newport News to Hampton because every car, every car, they checked every car inside out, upside down before you went on post. Matter of fact, I basically had to park my car at the giant supermarket and walk on post. That's how long it took. Amen. What a horrible day. That, that was what a horrible day and our country changed forever amen it changed forever sister Marion Bona said yes I will never forget I was at work in DC and it was total chaos we didn't know what to do everyone ran out of the building amen amen good morning mm -hmm. sister Celeste Thomas Riley God bless you brother Jerry Hinton good morning to you Amen. Um, Charlie said, yes, I was looking at the news and saw this horrible mess. Sister Charmaine Delaware said, I was working at the Pentagon. My goodness, that day. Uh, but that day, I went to Fort Belvoir instead. To God be the glory. I lost. Uh, she lost friends that day. Lord have mercy. Praying for all the families that lost someone. Amen. Deborah Fuller says, our church member Rita Johnson was in the Pentagon when the plane hit. Blessed be God that she's still alive today. Amen. Amen. Sister Charlize said, oh my God, my sister as well, uh, she was off that day. Uh, we didn't hear from her for weeks. Wow, that had to be uh, terrifying. Amen. Good morning, Sister uh, Danita Taylor. You can yell the good morning to you. Amen. Uh, Sister Connie Willis said, I was working downtown D.C. Amen. Uh, also, you know, I remember uh, our late deacon, um, Claude Thomas. Our late deacon, Claude Thomas, told me, you know, that he was mad at God for a long time. He just didn't understand, amen, how, 
you know, because he worked at the Pentagon. He survived. Some of his closest co-workers died. And if a God who is so loving, so caring, if he is that type of God, why would he allow something like this to happen? Again, we go back to the term that I that I that I gave you a few weeks ago and I shared with the church on Sunday again is theodicy. Theodicy. Ask the question. Theodicy is the is a is a theological term that asks the question, why does bad things happen to good people? Amen. And we don't know the answer. We don't know the answer. We don't know the answer. Amen. But what we have to do is accept what God allows. Amen. Amen. But thank God, you know, we survived 9-11. We're still here. Amen. But on another note, we are a country that's more divided than ever. We have people in, in, our, <clears throat> in our halls of Congress who cares nothing about legislating. They care nothing about the seriousness of the task at hand. Some of the loudest people that you hear in Congress has never drafted a bill and presented it on the floor because they're not interested in that. They're just interested in shutting things down and blocking everything that the current president is trying to put forward. Amen. And again, I posted last night, I watched the debate all the way through. If somebody is undecided about this election that's in November, then they're just not serious. They're just not serious. They're just not serious. Okay, um, uh, I heard a lady uh, even before the debate said, uh, well, I'm, I think I'm just going to decide. I just think I'm not going to vote because... Um, Neither, uh, uh, you know, no, no, nobody has impressed me. Well, even just think of this. Just vote for democracy's sake. If you don't like neither one of the candidates, just vote to uphold our democracy. You can't find nothing else. Just vote. Amen. To hold up our democracy. Amen. Because Donald Trump does not care about this country. Look how bad he talked about the American people. Look how bad he talked about the country. This country is a mess. This country is this. This country is that. He had nothing good to say. But he wants to be president of a messed up country. Amen. Amen. Never answered a question. Always deflected, went back to the border. Less people are entering in because of Biden's uh, executive order. Amen. But, you know, we watched it. And uh, it's just sad. There was a time that that person uh, wouldn't even made it past uh, their party's um, uh, 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 primaries they wouldn't have made it off the stage but this is what we got to deal with and for me there is clearly one person who is capable and, and, and eligible amen who is qualified amen to be president and that was Kamala Harris no if and buts about that uh, but yet people say they still undecided. They're just not serious. They're not serious at all. At all. Amen. All right. Amen. Just wanted to share that. But uh, thank God we survived all of the foolishness. We survived. Amen. We also want to pray uh, today, my brothers and sisters, for uh, those that are in the Gulf Coast, Louisiana, places like that. A, a, a hurricane is brewing. Amen. I believe last time I heard it was a uh, um, uh, category one. Amen. And so we want to pray um, uh, for those. Amen. We know that. Amen. Um, 
This is hurricane season. Hurricane season goes all the way up until November. And so anything can happen. Uh, but we definitely want to pray for those folks that are in, in, the, Gulf, in the Gulf Coast. Amen. Good morning, Sister Sandy Brown uh, Cooper. God bless you. Listen, as I was telling you on yesterday and sharing with you on yesterday, amen, that, um, that you can trust God. You can trust him. Um, I just want to continue hitting on that before we pray. Because maybe, and I hope, maybe somebody's faith needs to be built up. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, and, and I just want to share with you that again, therefore, you can trust him. You can trust him, my brothers and sisters. Amen. You can trust him completely. You can trust him to the fullest extent. Trust him without any reservation. Just trust him. Trust him to hear your prayers. Trust him to forgive your sins. Trust him to cleanse your heart. Trust him Amen. To direct your footsteps. Trust him to sanctify your soul. Trust him. Amen. To redeem you. Trust him. Amen. Uh, 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 just continue to trust him. Continue to trust him. Amen. To save your loved ones and to do for them as he has done for you. Don't hesitate, my brother and sister, to trust him. If you haven't already done so, amen, begin to trust him now. Don't put it off any longer. Uh, go ahead and trust him. Amen, somebody. Trust him with all you have. Trust him with all you need. Trust him with all your past. Trust him with all your future. Amen. Trust him with all your desires. Trust him with all your business. Trust him. Amen. Go on and trust him and all, with all your heart and trust him for all the rest of your life. Hallelujah. Trust him, my brothers and sisters. Go ahead and trust him. He will never fail a test. He, he, will, he has never lost a battle. You can trust him because he has never told a lie. You can trust him because he has never misunderstood a situation. You can trust him, my brothers and sisters, amen, because he has never broken a vow. You can trust him, amen, because he has never refused an individual. And he has never disappointed a soul. And furthermore, he, he never will. Trust him, my brothers and sisters. There may be many ways that you regret having done so, but, but, but you will never regret trusting him. There may be many words that you regret having spoken, but you will never regret trusting him. There may be many, amen, places that you regret having gone, but you will never uh, uh, regret trusting him. There may be many decisions that you regret having made, but you will never regret trusting him. There may be many people you regret having put your confidence in, but you will never, amen, regret trusting him. There may be many steps that you regret have, that you've taken, amen, but you will never regret trusting him. And there may be many hours that you regret having wasted, amen, but you will never regret the time you spent trusting him. If you are a child, you need to trust him. If you are a teenager, you need to trust him. If you are a single adult, you need to trust him. If you're married, you need to trust him. If you're a parent, you need to trust him. Amen. If you're a grandparent, you need to trust him. And if you are retired, you need to trust him. Hallelujah. Those who trust him will go further than others go. Those who trust him will have more than others have. Those who trust him will experience more than others experience. Those who trust him will accomplish more than others accomplish. Those who trust him will respond quicker than others respond. Those who trust him will live fuller other, uh, uh, than others uh, 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 live. And they will also be more contented, amen, than others are. For those who trust him will witness the unbelievable, experience the unimaginable, and will receive the undeniable. Good morning, Sister Ta uh, uh, Tawana Perry. If, if it is your heart's desire to magnify God, then you must trust him. If it's your heart's desire to glorify God, you must trust him. 
If it's your desire, amen, to please God, you got to trust him. If it's your desire to exalt God, you got to trust him. If it's your desire to bless God, you got to trust him. If it's your desire to honor God, you got to trust him. Amen. If it is your earnest desire to know God, to really know God, you must trust him. And in conclusion, my brothers and sisters, a word to those who have already been trusting God. If God, for some reason, has not given you your miracle yet, keep on trusting him. That's it. Amen. If God, for some reason, has not supplied, amen, your need yet, keep on trusting him. If God has not, amen, solved your problem, keep on trusting him. If God has not removed your burden, keep on trusting him. If he hasn't yet uh, calmed your crisis, keep on trusting him. If uh, uh, he hasn't answered your prayer yet, keep on trusting him. And if God, for some reason, has not satisfied your soul, amen, keep on trusting him, for he will not fail. He will not disappoint. He will not forsake you. So, my brothers and sisters, trust him. We said it yesterday. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to thine own understanding, but all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. 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 My brothers and sisters, if you will, go ahead and put your prayer requests in at this point. Amen. 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 Hey, good morning. Melissa Ayers, God bless you. Amen. She said, Melissa says, please keep our students and school staff in prayer. There was a threat at my daughter's school this morning. Lord have mercy. Already. Already. Not even 730. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Listen, any of you experience was was, you know. You've had friends that died or, or, or got hurt in that 9-11 experience. You know what? There, there, there's, there's no doubt you, 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 you have PTSD. Amen. Families are still dying from the soot and, and, and the debris that came from those buildings. People are still dying. Amen. Firemen, uh, uh, first, first, first responders. People are still dying. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yes, we do want to pray uh, for Sister Betty, for Sister Betty Hall. Amen. Amen. Uh, who lost her nephew? We definitely want to pray for her that God will keep her in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Sister Charlie says, thank all of you for your prayers. My crisis has passed me by and I'm still here to tell my story. Thank God you're feeling better. Amen. I'm so glad you're feeling better today. I'm so glad you're feeling better today. Hallelujah. Shelly Curry, good morning to you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But a man, London Black says today is our 23rd, uh, is our anniversary. 23 years ago, I told the wife I was going to work. Uh, I was going to work for some training. I don't think I came home for two days. It's given us more than one reason to remember 9-11. Keep on trusting God. Hallelujah. Happy anniversary, man. Happy anniversary to you and to Sister Lysandra Osborne Turner. Amen. What a beautiful couple you guys are. Amen. And so during that 9-11, you were gone for two days. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And I'm sure uh, your wife, her mind was just all over the place. Just wondering, making sure where you safe. I know she was praying up a storm. Amen. But thank God and thank you, man, for your service and for all the first responders. God knows 
we thank you all. We thank you all. And we say, God bless you. Amen. What a noble profession that you have. And we give God praise for you, man, uh, for serving the way you do. Amen. Listen, some people serve in the church. Some people serve the community. You serve us all. And we thank you. Amen. So very much for all that you do. Amen. 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 That's right. Keep on trusting God. I want to continue to pray for the schools. Amen. I uh, want to continue to pray for the Fuller family. I want to continue to pray for the close Dean uh, 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 and May Minor family. Amen. Uh, yes, uh, already a 15-year-old boy was at the bus stop yesterday in Newport News, was shot and killed, Lord have mercy, on his way to school. There's just no place to be safe anymore. Am I right about it? We want to continue to pray for the Howard family and the Perry family. Amen. I want to continue to pray for Sister Lois Howard, son. Amen. Her son, Derek. Amen. I want to keep him in our prayers. Uh, Sister Sherry, Shelly Curry says, amen. Total healing over this nation. Young men committing suicide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And, 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 and God knows it is, it is a horrible thing for a young person who hasn't really even experienced life, amen, gives up on life so early, amen, that feels like that they don't have any hope whatsoever. And God knows this is why we do morning glory, amen, to try to give people hope that hopefully by mistake or happenstance or whatever, amen, God designed that somebody will just stop Amen. Uh, uh, and they will see morning glory. Amen. And see the testimonies and see, amen, the encouraging word that we're trying to give. And it will change their life. This is why we do what we do. This is why we preach what we preach. Amen. To give somebody hope. To spread a little sunshine in somebody's day. Amen. Lord have mercy. Sister Jackie Banks says prayers for families. Of all those who died on 9-11. Amen. Amen. I lost a lot of friends. Had to go back in the Pentagon to find office space for those displaced. Lord have mercy. That was traumatic all by itself what you had to go through, Sister Jackie. Amen. Amen. A prayer of comfort for all those that are mourning. Absolutely. Prayer for our children, Sister, Del uh, uh, Sister Delaware says. Prayer for our children and grandchildren. And all my family. Amen. Sister Northfleet says, pray for my cousin Sandy Thomas, whose wife passed last Thursday. Amen. Definitely want to do that. Please pray for me, my family, and friends. Amen. Ronald Dez says, prayer for Jesse for her continued successful recovery. For my daughter, she has uh, uh, safe travels while heading to visit Jesse to continue on giving her support, love, prayers to complete her rehab and rejoin her children. Amen. Amen. God bless Jesse on today. Prayers for Madeline uh, Tunstall. Amen. Who broke her arm in two places. And for myself with knee problems. Amen. Pray for the Bland and Sessoms family. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Brother Bernard Close. God bless you. Amen. We just want to pray for all of you today. Amen. That God will make a way out of no way. And we know that God can do that for he can do, amen, what no other power can do. Am I right about it? He can do what no other power, amen, can do. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, we give you praise today. We thank you, God, because uh, truly we can say that we trust you today. We trust you to do the impossible. We trust you to do the things, God, that we can't do for ourselves. We trust you, God, to bring us out and bring us through. God, we can say on this morning that your record is remarkable. You have never failed us yet. And we want to say thank you this morning. Thank you, God, because you are Emmanuel. You are God with us. You are the omnipotent God. You're all powerful. Amen. You are the omniscient God. You are all knowing. Amen. You are the omnipresent God. You are everywhere at the same time. 
And we thank you for that. And God, you're never too busy to hear our cry. You're never too busy to listen, God. You're never too busy to stop by, God, and, and, and gives us words of comfort and words of cheer. You're never too busy to tend to our needs. And God, we want to thank you this morning. Thank you, God, that uh, you have been so good to us. And we want to thank you that this morning we woke up with new mercy and new grace. We thank you for that this morning. We thank you, God, because behold, all things, old things have been passed away. And behold, all things become new. We want to thank you, God, that you don't hold our past against us. You do not deal with us according to our sin, but you are long suffering to us, Lord, willing that none of us would perish. And God, we want to say thank you. God, we ask this morning, God, that you look upon your children on this morning and God, give us our heart's desire. Increase our faith on this morning. Hey, God, somebody may be struggling this morning. Hey, God, they may be struggling and God, they need help in the trust, in the trust department. God, they believe you on some things, but then they don't believe you on others. And as the man said in scripture, he said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Help our unbelief on this morning. God, help us to believe that God, if we would cast our cares upon you, you would take our burdens, hallelujah, and give us your joy. You would take our sorrow, oh God, and give us gladness. You will take, God, whatever that we cannot handle. You said, give it to me, I'll bear it. Give it to me, I'll share it. If there's any need in your life, I will take it. If you only give it to me. And so, God, I give you my cares. I cast my cares upon you. Hallelujah. I cast my burdens onto, onto you. Hallelujah. I cast my grief unto you. I cast my disappointment unto you in exchange for Jesus' joy. Hallelujah. I receive the joy of the Lord. Not only me, but all of us, God, that are uh, 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 on this broadcast this morning, we receive the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. We receive it this morning. We receive it this morning. Hallelujah. And God today, God today, hallelujah, as we as we remember God the significant event on 9-11. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. God, we pray for families who still grieving over lost loved ones. We're grieving. Oh God, they're grieving because their daddy is no longer alive. They're grieving because their mother is no longer alive. They're grieving because their husband is no longer alive. They're grieving because their wife is no longer alive. They're grieving because their son or daughter is no longer alive. They're grieving because, oh God, their, 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 their cousins are no longer alive. Their sister and brother is no longer alive. Oh God, oh God, God, I pray that you would heal, heal us where we hurt in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now that you would touch God, that you would make a way, that you would, God, soothe our doubts and calm our fears. Hallelujah. Oh God, that God, that you would give us, God, an attitude of gratitude because you have brought us safe thus far and your grace will continually lead us on. Oh God, we're praying, God. We're praying even for this country. We're praying, God, even for the peace in the Middle East. We're praying, God, uh, 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 concerning, God, uh, uh, the war that is going on in the Sudan. Hallelujah. Oh God, we pray for peace. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Oh, God, we understand that this war, it won't be won with bullets and guns. Hallelujah. God, uh, 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 because we understand we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but uh, we're fighting against principalities and powers, rulers of darkness of this age, spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. Oh, God, God, help us to stand where nobody else will stand. Help us to speak truth to power where nobody else will do. 
do it. Help us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Help us to do and do a hardness as a good soldier in the name of Jesus. Help us to realize, God, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come at some point in our lives. And we thank you for the joy that shall come. We thank you for the joy that shall come. God, we thank you for the joy that shall come. Hallelujah. And God, we know today that things are not like we want them to be. Everything is not peachy keen in our life. But God, we want to thank you, God, for the things that are working. We want to thank you for the ways you've already made. We want to thank you, a hey, God, for waking us up this morning. We want to thank you because, God, uh, uh, you told us, amen, you gave us a promise that you said that everything is going to work out for our good. For God, we're calling upon you because there is no other name that we can call. We're calling on you to say, fix it, Jesus. Fix it like you said you would. Hallelujah. I'm glad I got Jesus down in my heart. Hallelujah. I'm glad I got a Savior down in my heart. And God, I know you can fix it. Fix it, Lord, like you said you would. Fix it, God. If you fixed it for my mother, you can fix it for me. If you fixed it for my father, you can fix it for me. Whatever, God, you need to fix, I say fix it. And God, if you need to fix me, if you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out and strengthen me. I want to be right. I want to be saved. I want to be whole. You know when I'm right. You know when I'm wrong. You know where I belong. And so fix me, God. Fix me through and through in the name of Jesus. And God, help us not to be cowards. Help us to stand for what's right. Help us, God, to stand when nobody else will stand. Help us not to be cowardly because you said if we deny you, oh God, uh, before men, you would deny us before your father. And God, we don't want that to happen. And so, God, we don't, don't want to have any regret. God, we just want to please you and we want to do what thus saith the Lord. God, we ask you to forgive us of our sins on this morning. Hallelujah. I don't care how holy we think we are. God, we got some mess that comes with us. I don't care how holy we think we are. God, we don't cross uh, uh, every T and dot every I. I don't care how holy we think we are. God, we still got room for improvement. God, I don't care how holy we think we are. I don't care how many tongues we speak in. I don't care how many times we fast. We still got some junk in our trunk. But oh God, help us God in the name of Jesus. I don't care how perfect we think we are. We still got some mess in our closet. And some of us even got live bodies in our closet. But God, help us to deal with the mess that's in our closet. It's time for us to clean up our closet. It's time for us, God, to unjunk our closet. It's time for us to deal with reality. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, while we're praying this morning. Hallelujah. While we're praying this morning. Hallelujah. God, while we are praying, while on others thou art calling, we say, God, do not pass us by. For our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. God, we dare not trust the sweetest frame, but we're holy leaning on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock we stand. All other ground is sinking sand. And we know that time is filled with swift transition. Just like Sister Betty Hall's uh, nephew uh, 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 was, was, is gone, is dead now. Time is filled with swift change. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The young man was at the bus stop on yesterday and got shot right there at the bus stop. Time is filled with swift transition. Some mother will lose their son. Some, 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 some father will lose his daughter. Hallelujah. Some husband will lose his wife. Some wife will lose her husband. Amen. Oh God. Some grandparent will lose their grandchild. Lord have mercy today. God intervene God in the name of Jesus. While we're praying this morning, God, we're praying this morning, hallelujah, for our dear sister, uh, sister uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Connie Willis and her family, that you would touch them, touch the Willis family, touch the Barber family, hallelujah, touch the Butler family, touch Billy Perkins and her family and KP family. God, touch them 
in the name of Jesus. While we're praying, God, we're praying, God, for uh, the Turner family, but a man, London Black, and LaShonda Osborne Turner. We pray for them, and we pray for their children in the name of Jesus. Will you touch them, God? And we thank you, God, as they celebrate 23 years. God, we thank you through many dangers and toils and snares, through many ups and downs. Yet, God, you have kept them, and we give you the praise. We pray for them even on this morning in the name of Jesus. God, we pray this morning for Kim Dean Close and Bernard Close this morning. We pray for their families. We pray for the Close family, the Dean family. And we pray, God, for May Minor and her family. God, you continue to bless May Minor in her 90-some years. God, she's still coming to church in her 90-some years. God, she still got a smile on her face. In her 90-some years, God, she still loves the Lord. And we thank you for her on today. God, we prayed this morning, God, for continued blessings for Marion Bolden, God, and the Bolden family, and uh, the DeShield family. God, that you will continue to bless, continue to intervene, continue to open doors, continue to make ways in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for Sister Angela T. Stanford this morning. Meet her need this morning, I pray, in the name of Jesus. We pray for Jennifer Newsom this morning. God, that you will touch her, touch her family and her friends in the name of you. Be with them, oh God, in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for Betty Hall, God, uh, who lost her nephew, and we pray for their family in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that you will, God just, God just touch that family this morning and heal them where they hurt. Let them know that uh, earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Come ye disconsolate, where ye air anguish, come to the mercy seat. Fervently kneel, kneel, hallelujah. Here, bring your wounded heart. Here, tell your anguish that earth, hallelujah, has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. God, touch the Hall family today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for the Banks family this morning. Jackie Banks and Eli Banks. We pray for their children, God, and grandchildren. God, touch them in a very special way. In the name of you, we pray for Deaconess Manya Jackson, God, that you continue to bless her and keep her in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, for uh, uh, um, uh, Deacon Carter, Walter uh, Arthur Carter, and uh, 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 Sister Elaine Carter. God, continue to bless them and their family and keep them strong, I pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're praying, God, for Sister Juanita Saunders Singleton. Uh, not only her, God, but we pray for her children, her grandchildren. We pray for her mother in the name of you. We pray for her siblings as well. Touch them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, God, make a way out of no way. We continue. We ask continued prayers, God. Continue blessing for Sister Charlize Hicks and her family. We even pray for the children that's under her care. Touch her, God, I pray, in the name of Jesus. And we also pray, God, for that family of the young man who was shot while he was waiting at the bus stop on yesterday in Newport News. Touch that family, oh God. Oh God, How, somehow, some way, God, we pray that you get the glory even out of this tragedy. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We pray for Sister Patricia Harrington as God, she moved forward and to the pastorate. God, give her vision, give her clearness of vision. God, that she will love the people and grow the people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for Celeste Riley, God, and her family. We pray that you will continue to touch them and keep them in Jesus' name. Oh, God, yes, we pray for those, God, who dealing with suicidal tendencies. God, who feel like, oh, God, that, that, that there is no hope, there is no use. For living anymore. God will you touch right now. God I pray that they, I pray hallelujah. Uh, uh, that they don't have the courage to hurt themselves. I pray oh God. That uh, uh, that, the, that the gun uh, uh, gets jammed. Oh God in the name of Jesus. God touch today in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Change their mind. Turn it around in Jesus name. Hallelujah. We pray for Jerry Hinton this morning. We pray that you would touch him. We pray for the uh, uh, Sister Charmaine uh, Delaware and her family. Oh God, that you would touch her and her children and her husband and her grandchildren. Touch them, oh God, as only you can. We pray for Hilda Howard this morning, that you would touch them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh God, we pray, God, for Captain Carter and, and Walter Carter and the Carter family this morning, that you would touch them in Jesus' name. We pray for Danita Taylor, God, that you would, God, give her her heart's desire today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, work it out, God. Work it out as only you can. 
In Jesus' name, hallelujah. We pray for Julius Yelder and his family. And God, and we continue prayer for uh, the Yelder family in Conway, uh, Arkansas. Touch them, I pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God, uh, there is power. There is power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood. Would you, O oh, evil, a victory to win? There's wonder-working power in the blood. Thank God there's power in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. We also pray, God, for the Howard family, the Perry family this morning. We you touch them in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for Dolores Howard, God, we pray for her son this morning that you will touch him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we pray, we pray, we pray. Hallelujah. Folk who are dealing with depression, folk who are dealing with PTSD, will you touch them today in the name of Jesus? God, we pray for Sister Norfleet and Deacon Norfleet. God, who uh, 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 who have lost loved ones, God, will you touch them today? We pray, God, for Cousin Sandy Thomas, God, who wife passed on last Thursday. Strengthen him where he's weak. Build him up, prop him up on every leaning side in the name of Jesus. We're praying for the Liddell family this morning. God, we pray for, for Jesse in her continued successful recovery. Oh, God, God, give us strength to endure in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and God, help her to complete the process of rehab so she can be rejoined. She can uh, join her children in the name of Jesus. We pray for Madeline uh, Turnstall, God, who broke her arm. God, we pray for healing for her. God, in the name of Jesus, we even pray that, that, that arthritis won't set in her joints and in those broken bones. In Jesus' name, make a whole, God, as only you can. In Jesus' name, God, we're also praying, oh God, for Sister uh, Tinsley, God, who's dealing with knee problems this morning. Touch her, I pray, in Jesus' name. We pray for Sister Andy Sessom. We pray, oh God, for Brother uh, Dawson McLean, Steve Sessom. We pray for the Bland family, the Sessom family, and the Hyman family. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We pray, oh God, for every family in Jesus' name. Oh God, help us, God. We pray for Sister uh, Ruth Harper this morning. God, that you would touch her today. We pray for Sister Cooper this morning. Will you touch Sister Cooper in Jesus' name? We pray for their families in Jesus' name, God. Oh God, have thine own way. Have thine own way. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter. We are the clay. Mold us and make us. After thine will, while we are waiting, yielded and still. God touches today in the name of Jesus. God, we love you, God. We love you, God. We love you, and we only love you because you first love us. We pray this morning for Alonzo Bell and, uh, this morning. Touch him, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for him and his wife and his children. God, that you will continue to bless them and protect them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you're so good. You're so good. You're so good. I can't tell it all this morning. We're praying for Sister Tammy Gonzalez and her family in Jesus' name. God, we know you know what they need. God, will you touch them this morning in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. We pray. Oh, God, for the school system. Oh, God, in Stafford, not only Stafford, but every school system. God, we know, we know, we know, we know that there are some evil folk out there. There are some demonic folk out there who will kill innocent children. Oh, God, they're deranged folk, God. They're mentally health uh, uh, folk out there, God, uh, who need help. And God, who will hurt folk who have not hurt them. That will do harm to folk who have not done harm to them. God, intervene. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh God, God, we're calling on you. We're calling on you. <coughs> we're calling on you. Somebody, God, this morning is going through a storm. Somebody right now is coming out of a storm. And somebody's getting ready to go in a storm. And God, whatever, God, you allow us to go through. In the name of Jesus, God, help us, God, uh, to learn the lesson we need to learn. Help us to gain the experience we need to gain so that we can help somebody else. Oh, God, that because others have overcome because of the testimony that we share. And we thank you for every testimony. Everybody on our line has a testimony that God has been good to them. Everybody online this morning has a testimony that he healed my body. Everybody. 
on this line has a testimony that God opened the door that I had no idea he would open. Everybody has a testimony. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. And we thank you for the testimony. We thank you, God, for the for 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 the uh, 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 transparency. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for all things that you have done for us. Truly, you've been good. Truly, you've been good. Truly, you have been good. Hallelujah. And we bless your name on this morning. We give you praise on this morning. And so, God, we ask that you will hear our prayer, O oh Lord. Hear our prayer. We pray for my family. Pray for Pam Sessoms. God, we ask that you would bless her even as she ministered to the women in the retreat on Friday and Saturday. Bless her, God. Soothe her doubts and calm her fears. We pray, God, for my son, Jeffrey. Pray that you continue to bless him. We pray for my daughter, Kirsten. God, you've been faithful and you're continuing to do exactly what you said. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name. We thank you, God, even for the blessings of my Aunt Chick. We pray for her and her family today. Hallelujah. God, you've been good to us. And God, sometimes we just need to step back and let you do it. We need to step back. Hallelujah. And let you have your way. Thank you, God. Step back and let God do it. Step back and let him do it, y'all. Step back. Take your hands off. Take it to the Lord. That's what you got to do. Whatever you're going through, take it to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. You're so welcome, Sister Howard. God bless you. You're welcome, Van Tenzer. God bless you. Let God do it, y'all. Let God do it. Look, God bless you. Have a great day. Thank God for prayer on Wednesday. Amen. Thank God for prayer on Wednesday. We give God praise. Amen. Let God do it. Let God do it. My, 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 my. Step back. God bless you. Have a great day. I love you in Jesus' name.